implementation of arrays in java how can we implement a program for arrays in java and what is the multi dimensional and one dimensional array hello everyone i am sukanya from goedu hub technology and in this video we are going to discuss about implementation of arrays in java java array is an object which contain elements of similar data type Additionally the elements of the array are stored in contiguous memory location it is a data structure where we store similar elements we can store only a fixed set of elements in java array according to the size array in java is index based which means the first element of the array is stored in the zeroth index that means the indexing of an array begins with 0 1 2 3 4 and so on syntax to declare in array in java is data type then you have to use the square brackets and then the array name you can write and you can use the square brackets after the array or even before the writing of array the syntax will show no error or the compiler will show no error now instantization of an array is the array reference variable what is the reference variable of that particular array new keyword and then the data type here you can see that a program is written and the class here is prog p r o g and then there is an array declared here here declaration and instantization is done at the same time so int array is there and it is having certain number of set of values and then system dot out print array that the entered array you have to enter so this is the entered array now for loop is executed and then you are printing the array elements and similarly you are finding this in this program you are finding the maximum number in the array and then the minimum number and then what you have done is to find those maximum and minimum number but here you have not entered the elements into the array here the elements are previously inserted and out of them we have found out the maximum and the minimum number so firstly let us the write this number and see that how array actually work but here we have initialized the array firstly we have not entered the value in the console window we have written in the program code so let us write this program compile the file java file and then run the class file and check that how can we find the maximum and minimum number or the element from an array So here you can see that I have written the code which I have just now explained, and I have entered the array and I have saved that particular file as pr one dot java. So we all know that for compilation we use the syntax java pr one dot java for the compilation so that we can check if there is any error in the code. So there is no error in the code. Now you can run the class file and the class file created is java. prog prog is the class file created so i am going to run that particular class file and you can see that the entered array is 12 19 8 24 52 45 72 2 97 and 101 so the maximum number here is 101 and the minimum number is 2 that's what we wanted to do we wanted to find the maximum and the minimum numbers from the array next you can see that multi dimensional array so the multi dimensional array is actually where each element of the array holding the reference of any other array they are also known as jagged arrays a multi dimensional array is created by appending one set of square brackets per dimension example of declaration and instantization of multi dimensional array you can see that here two arrays have been declared int array and the new int is 10 and 20 is the respective size next this is a 2d array uh, 2d array or a matrix similarly for 3d you can also define and with respect to new int and uh, instantization you can do now program code for multiplication of two matrices if you multiply two matrices then it is quite sure that it will generate a multi dimensional array so this is the code for multiplication of those two matrices and then storing it in another matrix of array that is c and multiplication code is simple we will apply a for loop and then multiply with the a uh, number of matrices that is given to us by entering the elements we have entered the elements over here and this is how multiplication is done so let me execute this particular code and show you that how multiplication of two matrices is done with the help of multi dimensional array so here you can see that i have compiled the file also in the same file i have just changed the code for the multiplication and then i have run the particular class file which is java prog prog is the name of the class file so when i execute this file i can see that this is a multi dimensional array because it is having a set of multiplication of two separate arrays and then stored into one particular array hence it's the multi dimensional array and multiplication can be done with the help of arrays now here is a program for jagged array jagged array as we have already discussed that multi dimensional array are the arrays of array in which each element of the array is holding the reference of other and they are also known as jagged array so here is a code given in the tutorial for the jagged array also you can refer to the tutorial for that 
so let us run this code first and then see that how jagged arrays actually work so it is doing what it is the data is actually getting printed in the jagged array format and it is having the array and instantization is also done initialization is done over here and then the array length and then count is done and then the printing of data in that particular array is done so here we what we have done we have declared a 2d array 2d array with odd number of columns we have done that so let us firstly execute this code and see that how jagged array perform the functionality so here you can see that i have written the same code and uh, the 2d array is firstly declared over here with odd columns is there that is 3 and array index 0 is having new int 3 and index 1 is having then 4 elements and then 2 elements so it is going to display and print the elements like that so what we shall do we shall firstly compile our uh, code which we have written in pr1.java so let us firstly do that and check that if there are any errors in the code or not so there are no errors and the class file created is prog1 you can also see in the code that there is the class file same name class file is created after the compilation with the cmd or the javac or the java development kit so when i execute that particular file here you can see that the instantization and the thing firstly for three numbers only so that is one two three, zero one two then three four five six that is for four size and then new int is for two size that is seven and eight and generation of numbers is done so this is the concept of arrays and this is the concept how arrays work in java and the functionalities of arrays definitely it is used for storing or containing the elements of similar data type here we have discussed about integer you can similarly do for string and other data types also for more concepts of java programming we will look into upcoming videos thank you